I wanted people to look at my photographs and take away their own opinions. I don't need them to say anything about me. There's nothing extraordinary about my portraits, really. Um, first of all, they're shot on a 13.5 lens. That's a, a short telephoto lens, which allows me to stand in the same place but bring them closer to me. And then the secret of all this is to look into their eyes. And I, I, I found that looking into their eyes, that they would do likewise to me and look into my eyes. And then you felt there was a kind of a, an agreed um, situation between and trust, a, a kind of a trust and an agreed situation which allowed you to press that button. And when I did these portraits, I never shot, you know, I didn't use a motor winder, I didn't, you know, machine gun these people. I thought it was the dignity that I was bringing to their plight, to their situation, because they're normally victims of war, you know, homeless, suffering people people with suffering loss and you have to be very careful when you photograph those kind of people you need to respect their pain you need to respect them not only as human beings but what you'll find is if you exercise this cautious approach you will actually bring out more dignity in them during their suffering and, and their situation than the average man in the street. It's amazing. That was what I was trying to get from these people, not to strip them of their dignity whilst they were suffering or they were... I wanted to show you that these people still retained the very best quality despite their, you know, their situation. It doesn't matter what I put on the walls in any exhibition, any place in the world. Um, Back, at the back of all this, there are very bad days of, of bad memories. And they, they relate to the murder of people that I've seen in front of me. Men shot down in groups in Beirut by Christian Falange. Um, men looking at me with their eyes thinking I can stop it. And men dropping with all their brains hitting the wall behind them and calling for God, their God looking up just like those Goyeresque kind of eyes. I did become very down and down and down and uh, I went into my dark room. I, I couldn't bear to see some of these war pictures coming out of the developing kind of mist, particularly the boy in Africa, the albino boy starving. I have these memories that steal the, the joy of my life's work. But in a nutshell, I, uh, it's about love and passion. That's, this is where the energy came to keep me doing this. Because I tell you, you know, climbing on, up hills in Somerset in the snow, doing the landscape is wonderful. But, you know, uh, it, it, it really is painful. Uh, and why would I do it? It's because I'm in love with it. You do things when you're in love with things or people or objects that you wouldn't normally do. It, in another context, I would very much like to see my work in massive railway terminals, you know, in, in London railway terminals, airports, um, you know, uh, that, that great station in, that's uh, Penn Station in New York, and uh, anywhere there's multitudes of people. I would just like it to be there, so I would catch the people that weren't the converts. It would be like looking for new disciples. we <laughs>